Hello everyone, welcome back to Penguin Sudoku. We're close to the end of this. I think anyways. I got almost a swordfish with nines here. Six is repeated. There's got to be a meaning to that. <laughs> oh, uh, ones. Where can one go? In here. That's our starting point. Similarly, where can nine go? So let's see, this box, the minimum value of this is 2, the minimum value of this is 5, what's the highest that this could be? Let's say this is 3, no it can't be 3, because if it's a 3, then one, two, three. You can get two threes, I think. But I'll try it out. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's a two, so that doesn't work. Let me just write out all the things. So three doesn't work. One doesn't work. Could it be two? Two here, two here, three here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That works. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Could this be a four? Five, six, seven, eight. No, that's got to be a two then. I keep going. Ones, maybe. Oh, yes. I think. Okay, so these areas, there has to be ones there because that's the only place in the rows where one can go. Which rules a one out of here. Two is already rolled out of there. Could be anywhere from three to six. Two perhaps. Something about nines, uh, only two spots for it there. What else? Eight can only go in these spots. Wherever they go, they force a 9 afterwards. I don't know, though, it's tricky. Okay, there's gotta be something with the 6 being repeated. Can't think of why that would be a thing. Hmm. <laughs> If 
five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven. This one could be anything up to up to seven. Eight can't go in any of these spaces. Or those spaces. I don't know, there's got to be something about this. Twos, I think. Well, we've been over eights, but what about sevens? Uh, could go seven, eight, nine. That's not the way to do it, so maybe twos? Two could either be there or there. Where our root is, it forces a one before it. Huh. In this row, one can only go there and there. Alright, I forgot to do this earlier the uh, x-wing we found. This could be a one. But this can't be a two. So two is limited to those spots. What am I supposed to be looking for? The thing is, I want to like compare these twos, these potential twos with uh, your twos can go in this row. They could go anywhere in there. Oh. I was hitting the Windows key and not control. This might be not totally correct logic. But those are the only places twos can go in their respective columns. So I think that means that Two can only be there and there in that row. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't know. <laughs> Who can know this stuff? is five long but it's got a four in a decent spot so I might as well check it out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight
four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think it can be one. Yeah, one in this row could be in either of these spots. Interesting. A big jump there. I can't narrow this down to a seven eight pair to match because it could just be like three, four, five, I think. There might be a way to reverse chain this. Like if it goes, actually it can't go three, four because it's tilted. So I can't make that valueless. Wait a second, where can three go? Uh, it could go here, it could go there. But neither of these could be a three. Because three is restricted to those two spots. Now if this is a four, four, five, six, seven, eight, four and six, Rolled out of this square forces it into being a five. I don't see what that does. Trying to use nine logic to get somewhere probably isn't super good. But you never know. This just says that it's symmetrical, but I already knew that. thing is seven could be anywhere. <sighs> could 
just tell there's something going on here. Okay, if this is a four, that forces four into one of those two spots. That's not a good threat. If this is a four, this forces this into being a one. Is this the trick? One can only go in those two spots for that row logic. One can go in those spots. Oh, you know what? This is five or higher, but it can't be six or seven. <laughs> Could be one, two, three, four, five. Now two must go either there or there. If the eight's here, then there's a nine here and here. If the eight's here, then there's a nine here and here. I think that should force 
the minds into being definite there and there. Which one is the ending? This one. that logic right? I don't think that logic's right. Yeah, because the nine could just be up here and this would still be a nine. But whichever one has the eight nine pair does restrict that, kind of. Okay, what does the nut one nine pair mean? Two can only go in row four, column six, column one, box four, forming an X wing. I did get that at least. I don't get what the X-Wing means. Wherever the twos go in the X-Wing, they have to be preceded by one. That forms an X-Wing at once on row three and row seven, column one, and row three, row seven, column seven. Now one can only go in row two, column five, in box two. Okay. And then the ones here and the ones here force the one into the middle. Now we got two, three, and nine left. Forces a nine here. Solves the one nine pair. That's a one. Wait, I need to remember how the one nine pair works. Yeah, that's the nine, that's the eight. And then this is the nine. Okay, that logic's right. Uh, I can use the same nine rule to get the rest of the nines, I think. Up to the X Wing there. I think that means this is the one. That was not a guess, that was educated as heck. We got a lot of stuff left. Um, what happened to the 2 3 pair here? Did they go away? Oh, here's something. We got the 2 pair there. Do we have all the 9s in yet? No, but all the 9s. Uh, 
cannot appear in thermos. So now the highest number that can appear in a thermo is at eight. Get that eight, because I know this eight is uh, somewhere in there. I know this is an eight as well, because of similar logic. is an 8. It's either there or it's in this row. Can't say which it is yet. Got this 2 3 pair. What about the higher numbers here? Where would a 7 go? Where would a 6 go? Could go 6, 7, 8, 9. But a 6 here would go 6, 7, 8, and then fail. I know six must be one of those three spaces. Five, six, seven, eight. So you got six, seven, five, and one to place in there somewhere. Oh, that's right, the X wing means that this is a one. Uh, this is pretty limited. That's gotta be a three now. This space can't be a three. So the three in this row must be there or there. The one has to be followed by a two, right? So a three here is impossible, I think. I don't know if that matters yet. Could end up mattering. go three four five I don't know I kind of want to keep that logic clean because I'm also using it for uh, x-wing stuff Okay, if this is a 5, then it forces 4, 3, 2, 1. Five forces 4, 3, 2. So 4, 3, and 2 cannot be here. Leaving. Five, six, seven, eight. This cannot be a five. That felt like a stretch, but it actually logic out.
guess you could say I lucked out. Wherever the 7 goes on this line, it needs a 8 or a 9 to cover it. So it must go here. Now, could there be a 6? No. 6, 7 would work if it wasn't for that 6. This is the 6. So seven could go now. We've got a one four pair, I think. That four. Wait. Not four. What am I thinking? Five? It seems about right. Five, six, seven, six, and seven, taking these two spots. Six and seven, and these two spots are forced. So this is four. This is five, this is six, this is seven. Trying to find something wrong with that. Just not getting anything right now. There are no threes on the board yet. That seems intentional. Wait a second, five. I can't put six. I can't put six or seven here. I thought this one would have way less restrictions, but this is actually the one that proves it can't be five. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Filled that one out all the way, so I'm pretty sure it's right. The one has to be followed by two, which makes this other half also also solvable. can't be a 2 anymore. Does that mean it's true? I don't know. 3, 2 pair here. Oh, what about this? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's actually solvable. So we've got twos and threes left. A five. Oh, I can't get that one down. It's a little bit annoying. 
So this number has to be pretty high. It's got to be a 6 or a 7. And I think the 6 clue... Yeah, it did prove that the 6 had to be on this line. Nice. Good thing I remembered that. So this is 4 or 3. Don't know if I can help that. Oh, 4 can't go on this thermo. That's not helpful. Wait, 5, 6, 7 is the only way to continue that. <laughs> Sorry if you guys saw that, that one's a bit obvious. That's a five, that's a six, that's a six, that's an eight. That's a 9, and that's a 9. Wow, look how much work we just got done there. I gotta say, that initial logic definitely uh, put me off, but once you get past that, it's not too bad of a puzzle. Yeah, I don't know, without hints, that one's a real monster. I wonder if I was overthinking or underthinking. Either way, that was quite the puzzle. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, but look at that. Hieroglyphics. I just stare at it and I get lost. Let's look at what's coming up. <laughs> the one that's already in play looks pretty interesting. Actually, I think it forces a one into that row in that box down here. Oh, you can solve the first one and then you can solve that one. Oh, and you can solve this up here. This one's got not too bad of a start, but I can tell it's gonna get rough. This one I looked at before. These ones are gonna be a grand finale. Maybe I'll go back and try out this one <laughs> at some point. I guess I played that for a bit. But I'll see ya.